Hello everyone, Giltar here, with a response to do 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 I think. I'm not sure how to pronounce his username. Uh, to his video entitled, Gundam Unicorn is so good. Um, and I just, first of all, I'm gonna say right away, I must agree, it's amazing. Episode 1 of the 6 OVA series is... is crazy, it's awesome. Um, I have to thank Akutsuki Daybreaker 65 for throwing my way a link to watching Gundam Unicorn. Uh, so I thank you very much, Akutsuki Daybreaker 65. Uh, uh, this is this is my first day off in a couple of weeks. I've been working overtime. I've been working straight through weekends. So this was a really good way to spend my first day off in a little while. And I must say, I'm going to say this. First of all, I'm going to stay away from the plot points in Gundam Unicorn, and I'll stick to my initial impressions of Episode One. I'll, I'll stick to the production uh, aspects. First of all, I have to say the sound engineering is fantastic really really well done and the this score the orchestral score used for it I think um, it, it does its job properly it doesn't take over or dominate scenes uh, neither does it fade away into the background it's there it's in the background and it supplements the the narration by you know, providing the audio component now I'm not even an audiophile I normally don't even notice things like sound engineering or um, you know, uh, soundtracks or background um, music, but in Gundam Unicorn, it really, I think, plays a vital role, and that component of it really helps the scenes. Uh, next up would be the pacing. It, it, we don't get bogged down either by excessive character development scenes, uh, or do we sort of get a continuous barrage of eye candy and action scenes. It's, it's nicely paced and nicely balanced. And I hope the rest of the series follows a similar um, direction. That we don't get too much of one thing or another all at once. That it's, it's nicely paced. Um, another thing I really like about Gundam Unicorn is just the art direction. It's very classical, in my opinion. Classical anime or classical manga, I guess. Uh, it seems really inspired by the designs one would see in the late 70s, throughout the 80s. Um, and I really like that. I really appreciate it. I, I like the way that we get characters that have more character to them, to the visuals, because, you know, I probably will get a lot, uh, a lot of flack for this, but more modern anime and manga, and I'll use Gundam 00 as a prime example, a lot of the characters look very similar because they're all so stylized, and um, everything just looks so, I don't know, graphic designy. Uh, in a way that the, how the characters look, and I like the way that in Gundam Unicorn there's more variety, at least from my first impression of it, um, and also just the treatment of characters, the the designs, they look a little more um, believable or plausible. Because when we look at something like Gundam um, Double O, Gundam Double O rather, uh, it's like every character stepped off of a J-pop video set. Like all these character designs are all. It, it's like they all shop at the most trendy uh, fashion stores in, in Tokyo or something. Whereas in Gundam Unicorn, um, uh, things look a little more uh, concrete, less flamboyant, I guess. So I really, I really like that aspect of it. Um, I also like the combat scenes. It's well choreographed, and I have to agree with 6D that the battles aren't so one-sided. There's more balance to them. And it's not to say that the uh, Kshatriya, for example, um, is, is, you know, beat up or anything, but it, it, there, it, we see an actual rhythm to the fights, to the combat. It's not just like something gets hit and then it explodes. Um, there are some really great instances of uh, Jagans, for example, just being dissected. And we get to savor the, the sort of visual narrative of this moment where something is, you know, we're seeing a demonstration of just how uh, potent the uh, Kshatriya is and how potent the pilot is. And it's not just something that you just get a quick, you know, um, flash and kaboom and then there's an explosion. We get some nicely directed and choreographed action scenes. I really appreciate that. Um, the attention to detail is fantastic. We get a better glimpse of the uh, operation systems, the, the controls uh, of the mobile suits. Uh, it's really great. Uh, there's a lot, a lot of background things that you see in the, the, the heads-up displays that um, you might miss at, at for, upon first viewing, but if you have a sharp eye, you'll notice some very interesting things. 
Um, what else is there? Um, the mobile suit designs, it's just fantastic. I'm a big fan of the Universal Century designs and from start to finish I was just grinning. Um, I really like these designs and you know what, to be honest, right now I'm, I'm breaking down. I'm going to purchase the OVA version of the Master Grade RX-0. Uh, flaws and all with the Master Grade kit, I really at this point I'm just, I'm feeling so exuberant, excited about the Gundam Unicorn OVA series that I, I just feel like I have to have the RX-0. I need to get the Sinanju, I need to get the Kshatriya, uh, the Rizal, Stark Jagan, all these things I, I want to, like, I want to keep up, if I can, with the high grade Universal Century and Master Grade kits from Gundam Unicorn because um, this first episode is just it's it's so impressive to me I'm right now I I, I, I can't even find the words <laughs> I'm just babbling at this point so I'll just say this you guys I hope I'm not uh, setting you up for a fall if I you know raise expectations so high that when you see it you're gonna be disappointed but I'll just say this Gundam Unicorn I think will be will probably challenge well, yeah, I think it'll probably challenge War in the Pocket for my favorite part of the Gundam, um, you know, history of fiction. Like, uh, for right now, my favorite part of Gundam would be between the original Mobile Suit Gundam and War in the Pocket, Mobile Suit Gundam 80. And right now, Gundam Unicorn's probably in third place. It, it, it definitely blew past Gundam 00 for me. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm really excited about just the second episode, whenever that'll come out. And... Yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. So, uh, thanks to you guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Please check out uh, Do 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 Do's uh, video there. Um, and I think I think you guys are going to be in a treat when you do get to watch Gundam Unicorn, the first episode. Uh, it's it's really good, even if you don't understand Japanese.